Hello, hello. How is everybody doing out there today? I just realized I don't have the light on, so I'm going to do that. I don't know what that'll do because I'm by the window. Okay, so I got called out to do some readings here. Uh, I did a really long water sign reading, which I will get into the other signs shortly, but I felt like I needed to call um, or to get in here and read a little bit on some energies. Okay, because I was picking up on, on some people that were kind of struggling right now. So let's see what we have going on here. Okay, I have a nine of cups. I have a nine of pentacles, or excuse me, a six of pentacles. I have the six of cups in reverse, and I have the seven of cups. Wow. Okay. Somebody was really happy about something. There was an outpouring of love here, okay? And it looks like there's some spiritual or financial issues here uh, that someone is presently trying to balance out, okay? We have the Six of Cups in reverse. So um, I feel like the love that was outpouring has kind of stopped until this balances out. There's a lot of illusion swirling here. Someone is to trying to decide what they want um, I would offer why you want it, okay, and uh, to get some clarity here. Lots of cups. This has to do with the relationship, okay. I'm going to ask for, thank you. Yeah, I feel like somebody is just, there's a grieving that's going on here, okay. Maybe somebody thought something was going to be a certain way and it wasn't. Maybe um, something... Yeah, like something didn't turn out or maybe somebody found something out that kind of disheartened them here. Okay, and they're trying to figure out what the truth is. All right, in the meantime, this is really painful. Okay, um, and see, getting clarity can sometimes be very painful. Um, my heart goes out to you. I ask that you, you know, give it time, give it faith. If you're this intuitive to where you're picking up on all of this, then, um, you know, you're being guided here. Yeah, this was supposed to be some kind of a celebration. Something was supposed to come into fruition here, and it didn't happen the way that this person thought it was going to happen, or something happened in the process of completing this cycle here that kind of turned everything upside down. We have the Four of Swords here. This is about really trying, okay, to establish a bottom line. Uh, and I'm feeling like, again, this is really emotional here for someone trying to get this clarity, trying to build on a solid foundation here. And they just keep feeling like this pain and betrayal here. Okay. I do feel like this could be a cycle. Um, this could be not unknown to the person I'm talking about. I'm going to grab some relationship cards here. This feels like a huge betrayal. There could be two people that uh, have different priorities here. We've got finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And we've got make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Now, I will say this, that you need to take care of yourself first here in this situation. Um, I feel like I'm speaking to adults and adults always have choices. Okay. Um, and you need to make sure that you are staying in alignment, no matter what is happening that's around you. All right. I'm going to get some clarification here. First of all, okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. We have a page of emotions coming out here. I was going to ask about this nine of cups. I feel like somebody took kind of a chance here on something that made them really happy. Okay. And, uh, they started to really, in their happiness, okay, in contentment here, they started to go through and purge things that are no longer serving them. I feel like this was part of a process. A lot of people are going through this in their healing cycles. Um, and I feel like that kind of came to a halt for some reason. Uh, that's why I think that six is there to balance this out. Yeah, we've got an awakening happening. One or two of these people might be going through a spiritual awakening right now. Um... And that could be, yeah. So you've got one person going through an awakening and one like kind of not understanding that this is a new beginning. 
okay? This feels like a repeated cycle to me. Uh, the only difference is, is I think this person sees, okay? This Eight of Cups, um, they see what they have to leave behind here now, okay? Like somebody woke up to what is going on and what needs to, what needs to happen here, okay? Um, and that's where we come into really seeing the illusions here. What do you want? Why do you want it? I'm going to ask specifically on the Six of Cups in reverse, please. Five of Inspiration, the Hermit in reverse, and the Six of Inspiration. Okay. I feel like somebody was trying to move forward, trying to get this clarity, trying to build on a solid foundation here. I do feel like it's still an option for you. Okay, I feel like you have to remove, I'm, I'm hearing like the clutter, which is actually emotional. We've got finances and career showing up here as well. Okay, so it could be that, you know, maybe somebody needs to go out and get, you know, like some kind of money to help them get in a better position here, right? Maybe they are lacking in confidence here. Okay, we've got the Hermes in reverse. Yeah, this is taking you out of your power. Somebody could be an authority over this person. I'm kind of surprised that the Eight of Swords didn't pop up because I'm really getting that mind trap energy. And I do see two people here. Okay. One person is highly empathic and kind of already on the healing path and the other person might not be. Six of Inspiration here. Okay, I do feel like there will be some celebrations. I do feel like I feel a positive spin on this, like something is going to happen to there's going to, you know, somebody's going to see what they need to see here, whether or not they decide to make an action to do this. I don't know, because we all have free will. I feel like you're facing a lot of resistance right now. This person. There we go. The eight of voices. That's exactly what I said. I, I figured it would come out because that's really the energy I'm getting pick, I'm picking up on here. This is some kind of like almost, you know, there could be some addictions here. Um, yeah, nine of materials. And I feel like if this person, this person goes out and really does what they need to do, everything is going to be fine. This person needs to take care of themselves and this person needs to wake up. Okay, and understand what is really happening here because I feel like these illusions are tied to this person. Okay, I will say also, I feel like this relationship has a soulmate quality to it. This is not something this is new, that is new. I feel like these two souls know each other. We've got this Empress coming in. This is about birthing new worlds. Okay, and it's kind of like what is going to be the basis for this new world? Okay, are we picking vanity? Are we picking disguises? Here? Like, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Because the potential is here. This is a high level relationship or this empress wouldn't pop out. Um, there also could be someone that's pregnant here that's adding uh, some tension in the relationship. Six of Swords again. Spirit is guiding you here. Oh, not again. I'm sorry. We have the six of inspiration here. Spirit is guiding you through this. Okay. Whoever this is, I, you, I think you're highly empathic. You already know that you're not alone going through this. You are being guided. Yeah, we've got the Hierophant. There's some, there's some high level beings that are trying to help you work this out here. Okay. This could do with some kind of spiritual dogma as well for this person. But I really feel like you are being guided. You're being protected. And I feel like some of you might even see what's going on. Yeah, we've got the hangman in reverse. We've got the king of stars, which is pentacles. And we have the five of swords in reverse. Um, I feel like you definitely need to have a conversation about this. Um, maybe speaking in those terms, like... You know, what is the illusion here? What are the priorities in the relationship? Because I feel like you guys need to get on the same page here to be able to, to birth this baby or this, this new planet. This relationship needs some clarity. Yeah, it's a growth phase here. 
and the activities are going to halt and stop. I've got a queen of wands here. Okay, so there's power involved here. Uh, there's productivity. There's passion. There's a lot of chemistry here. Um, you're dealing with a, a king of pentacles energy, this divine masculine energy, which has a spiritual, a high level of spiritual aspect to it. Okay, so again, this could be, there possibly could be some addictions that are going on here. We've got the hermit in reverse again. Neither one of you are feeling like you're in your power right now. Neither one of you. And you need to open up to what spirit is trying to tell you here. Okay, and I feel like, you know, slowing down is not such a bad idea. You know, not every opportunity is meant for us, is healthy. You know, we have free will. You have to make choices. Yeah, this relationship is blessed. I keep telling you, this feels like to the sea and to be fair, okay? This is the balancing that has to happen between these two people. You guys need to have a conversation and get on the same page here about what the priorities are. Everyone deserves to be happy and healthy. Everyone deserves to be happy and healthy. Everyone deserves to be valued. Okay, learning to love myself. I choose to see the beauty in me. My wealth lies in my nature and potential. I transform my weaknesses into strengths. I realize that I am a being of light and I allow myself to shine. Okay, and I really feel like something that's going on here is making somebody feel, this person in particular, like it, it kind of shuts them down or they feel like they're alone, okay? And you, I really feel like you're in the relationship right now, okay? So you need to make sure that you're valuing yourself. Notice the colors are almost uh, tandem there. Excuse me. We also have divine light coming out. I'm an expression of love. And I shine like the sun. My inner light is my strength and my treasure. My intuition guides me to discover the wonder and goodness of who I am. Okay? And I feel like this is for both of you. But I feel like this is for this fool in reverse here in particularly. Like, you know, you can't expect this person to show you value when they don't even value themselves. That's what I'm hearing. Okay? They don't understand what that means. So, you know, they're not going to be able to consistently show it back. I'm going to pull one more Oracle card for you. Yeah, you guys need to take some time out. Somebody could have a life path of seven. I'm getting some, um, the air sign energy of Aquarius. I'm also seeing Virgo. Um, I'm pulling in a Taurus energy too. Okay. Money, all my finances are now in divine order. Love itself knows my needs and is the source for all. I needn't cling to gain or fear loss. Everything will be met through offering all to the divine. That's for this person. And for this person over here, we've got sanctuary. A sanctuary resides inside you no matter what is happening. This inner temple beckons you to enter. Take a deep breath, enter and sit down on the throne of your own heart. This person needs to get back in touch with themselves and kind of figure out. I just feel like there's some kind of like, this person maybe hasn't dealt with the shadow in themselves yet and it's clashing, okay? And it's not this person's job to do this for you or to tell you how to do it. This is something you have to do on your own here. So there needs to be some kind of a communication here to where you both can be um, stable, happy, and healthy. And to be fair, this is really ringing true right now. It's number 11. The spirits are watching this. Your ancestors are watching this, okay? Both of you. And I'm getting that it's time to clean it up is what I'm hearing. It's time to clean it up, okay? Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, write a comment, help inspire others. I know there's a lot of reunification. There's twin flame reunification. There's soulmate reunifications going on right now. And it can be a little bit of a bumpy ride as we're all going through kind of this process of 
getting into that higher consciousness. So make sure that there's you're based in love, light, and communicate. Speak your truth, okay? Take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. And as always, be kind out there.